Hey, so today is the day that we revamp a subscriber's song. So this was suggested to me by this subscriber, I think like a month ago, but I just haven't gotten around to it because I've been quite busy with other videos and such. This is likely not the last time I'm going to be doing this type of video. So if you want me to revamp your song, then you can join my Discord down below and send over the music file. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get straight into this. So I guess it makes sense to just start by listening to the subscriber's song. So straight away, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a spooky vibe kind of thing, I think. So first things first, let's just get the whole MIDI roll written down in the piano part. So what I've got right here is a really nice piano sound that's actually free from orchestral tools. If I remember, I'll link it down in the description. Okay, so I've got all the notes written out now on this piano. So I think the next thing to do is probably to figure out a chord progression for this. So to do this, I'll head down to my keyboard and I'll just play around with the notes on top and just try to figure out what chords work with the melody. So I've got some sort of chord progression laid out here. It clashes with the melody right now, but that's what actually what I wanted to get onto next. So I want to polish up the melody, kind of leave some gaps in there, because right now each note kind of runs off the other. There's no gap for the listener to kind of breathe. So now that I've sorted out any majorly clashing notes, the next thing I want to do is add some interesting rhythm to this melody. Because right now it's quite a static rhythm, so I'm just going to go through and almost make it have a more bouncy feel if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean. So for example here, instead of just playing two straight notes right next to each other, you could leave it a little bit longer to play this note so that the listener anticipates the note and it kind of makes it feel like it's more pushing forwards. This is an example of what I was saying earlier, which is actually something that you need to watch out for in your melodies. These notes run off each other without giving the listener a break to breathe. You've just finished one section of the melody, but there's no gap moving into the next one. So this is what we have so far. The next thing that I would probably attempt to do is add some drums because the drums is like the backbone of the piece. It helps to drive the piece along and it gives you a good sense of the rhythm that you want to go for, which is then easier to change and build the melody on top of. I think honestly, it pains me to do so, but I might just delete this entire ending here, just these last few notes, and then copy over this first part of the section. Alright, so we've got a basic beat down now, so the next thing to do is to start working on getting some nice instruments for the chord and the melody. I actually continued on to three new things. Firstly, I added some chords, but actually in the form of arpeggios. This was to give the song some much needed movement as well as filling in some of the mid frequencies. The sound I used for this is a saw wave that has been cut short to sound like a pluck. I then put some cutoff on it and made the cutoff slowly alternate between more and less to give an opening closing effect. The second thing I added was an intro. This consisted of a kick drum, some magical 8-bit chords and the same pluck that I used for the arpeggios, as well as a riser. 
Thirdly, I added two bases. One of them is a saw wave to add character, while the other is a sine wave to add depth and bass. When adding bass to a song nowadays, I like to use sine wave bass alongside other bass as it has a very deep feel to it. I also added a tiny outro. Now, all that's left is just to do some finishing touches and mixing.